dynamic lift what is dynamic lift usually we observe that when an aeroplane is uh, running on the runway after traveling a certain distance it uh, lifts into the air means it can enter into the air how does it is possible it is possible due to the dynamic lift acting on the aeroplane wings actually what is meant by dynamic lift dynamic lift here dynamic lift means uh, when an object is a uh, moving in a static fluid it, when it is a uh, moving in a static fluid then what happens due to the pressure difference acting on the top surface and on the, and on the bottom surface uh, due to this uh, pressure difference acting on the top and bottom surface it experiences an uh, upward force due to this upward force uh, it deviates from the path this upward force acting on the body due to the pressure difference is called here dynamic lift actually when it is moving in the static fluid then what happens on the top surface uh, less pressure acts down on the bottom surface uh, more pressure acts up uh, due to this pressure difference it experiences an upward force that uh, this upward force is called here dynamic lift now let us see how does dynamic lift uh, acts in case of a ball now <coughs> here we consider the two cases the case when the ball is moving in air without spin and the second case is that the ball is moving in air with a spin it is spinning as well as moving we consider two cases and in which case let's see dynamic lift is acting on the ball now first one ball is moving without a spin means the ball is just having linear motion in the air this is the ball now this ball just having linear motion in the air it is moving in the air then around the ball the shape of string lines is like this now around the ball the shape of the stream streamlines are like this these are the streamlines of air if we observe all the streamlines are equally all the streamlines are having equal distance between them means uh, the consecutive streamlines have equal distance between them means uh, the streamlines are symmetric uh, above and below the ball if the streamlines are symmetric above and the below the ball there is same velocity above the ball and below the ball at the top of the ball velocity is vt at the bottom of the ball velocity is vb here vt is equals to vb at the top and at the bottom velocity is same why because uh, above and below the ball the streamlines are symmetric streamlines are symmetric means uh, at a particular point if we consider the streamlines are equally distance apart above the ball and below the ball also so that the velocities are same generally we know that the velocity is more where the streamlines are close to each other and the velocity is less where the streamlines are far from each other but in this case above and below the ball the streamlines are equally distance apart so that above and below the ball the velocity will be same if the velocities are same the pressures and at the top and at the bottom also same pt is equals to pb pt is the pressure on the top pb is the pressure on the bottom pressure on the top pt acts down and uh, on the bottom pressure pb acts up here equal pressure acting on the top and on the bottom surface due to these uh, the two pressures cancel out each other so resultant force resultant upward force acting on the ball is zero when the ball is moving in air without spin but we consider second case uh, the ball is uh, moving in air with a spin means the ball is uh, having linear motion as well as rotational motion in the air the ball is having a linear motion as well as a spinning suppose this is a ball the ball is uh, having a rotational motion in such a case the shape of the streamlines above and below the ball are like this now we are drawing the shape of the streamlines above and below the ball when the ball is uh, spinning as well as moving in the air
Now this is the shape of the spring blends above and below the ball when the ball is spinning in air as well as moving. Now if we observe <coughs> Above and below the ball, what are the velocities? Uh, suppose above the ball velocity is Vt, below the ball velocity is Vb. Here we take two points above and below the ball at the same distance, uh, above and below the ball at same distance. At this point velocity is Vt, at this point velocity is Vb. Here the resultant velocity will be this direction v plus vr here the resultant velocity is this direction this is v minus vr this velocity at the top and this is velocity at the bottom here what is v and what is vr v is the velocity of air and uh, vr is the velocity of rotation of the ball above the ball if you observe the velocity of air and the velocity of rotation of the ball are in same direction at this point uh, the air is flowing left to right in the same way here also velocity of rotation in the same direction so the resultant velocity of air above the ball will be v plus vr now below the ball the velocity will be air is a uh, flowing left to right uh, but at this point uh, velocity of rotation of the ball in the opposite direction so resultant velocity below the bottom is uh, v minus vr from this we observe that vt is greater than vb above the ball more velocity below the ball less velocity now at the top suppose pressure is a pt and on the bottom pressure is pb now if vt greater than vb we write here pt less than pb means on the top uh, less pressure is acting on the bottom more pressure is acting now on the bottom more pressure acting upward on the top less pressure acting downward due to this pressure difference the ball experience uh, an upward force this upward force is called here dynamic lift means the dynamic lift act on the ball due to the pressure difference on the top and bottom of the ball on the top less pressure acting down on the bottom more pressure is acting up due to this, due to this more pressure acting up it experiences a, a resultant upward force means dynamic lift experienced by the ball when it is spinning in air as well as moving but in case of when it is moving without spin it doesn't experience any dynamic lift but when the ball is moving in air with the spin it experiences dynamic lift now <clears throat> this phenomenon means uh, the whenever the ball uh, experiences dynamic lift uh, when it is having the spin as well as a uh, linear motion is called here magnus effect now then dynamic lift experienced the ball whenever it is moving in air with a spin is called here magnus effect this situation is uh, called here magnus effect <clears throat>